Well good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. In this video we explore the pretty village of Colne St Aldwins in the heart of the Cotswolds, situated in unspoilt countryside and nestling in the beautiful Colne River Valley. It's about three miles from Bybury in Fairford and nine miles from Cirencester. The village boasts a church with Norman origins, a popular 16th century inn, the New Inn, village shop, post office, many beautiful walks in and around the area. Now we're on the edge of the uh, village here and I wanted to show you this building which is the vicarage which has gone past the church, we'll see that later. This is the old vicarage and um, yeah I've come here to start the walk because I want to find the river, the Colne, um, and then we'll enter the village um, from that side. But all around this village there's beautiful countryside Part of it is um, an estate, um, which I'll talk about later, William Strip Park. And yeah, it's just a delightful place. So let's go head down and find the river. So as you can see, we've just found the River Colne, this lovely little clapper bridge that goes across the river. And uh, yeah, it's uh, absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Um, the Colne flows through many of these fantastic Cotswold villages and I've made some videos of quite a few of them so have a look on the channel if you're interested in seeing more villages in the Colne Valley. But just across here is the old mill building um, which is obviously a private property but yeah a really lovely old Cotswold mill, obviously a water mill in um, times gone by. So we've just followed the river a bit down to um, uh, the bridge, which is the start of the actual village. And yeah, I just want to show you a bit more of this beautiful countryside. If you head over in this direction, you can pick up a path that goes all the way to Bybury, which is a fantastic village and very busy, uh, not easy to park, much easier to walk. It's about three miles and it's a circular walk. And I'm going to do this walk and film it for another video because it's apparently really, really picturesque. It follows the river all the way from this village, Colne St Aldwins, to Bybury. So that'll be coming up soon on the channel. But yeah, it's just a beautiful, picturesque place. And um, yeah, we're going to head off now and um, find the village. See you in a moment. just approaching the village I think but yeah it's just ever so pretty here by the Colne River yeah there you can see some of the cottages and we'll just follow this round lots of cows enjoying the green green grass and yeah I mean it's just delightful isn't it what a way to spend the bank holiday Monday in rural Cotswolds in Gloucestershire. Wherever you are in the world, I hope one day you will be able to come here yourself, or somewhere in the Cotswolds, and enjoy the view that I've got here. I'm very lucky I live here, well not here, but in the Cotswolds. It was 25 minutes to get here today from my house. It's definitely worth the effort. So, yeah, I'm just gonna pan round and I'll see you in the village. Lots of cars here. It's a very busy day today and lots of cars parked some way away from the village because there's nowhere in the village to park. I was very lucky. I somehow managed to get in, but yeah. Look at that. So apologies if you can hear a bit of noise. There's some work going on here, but um, 
This is the actual village of Colne St Aldwins. It derives its name from Aldwin, Bishop of Worcester, who was a tutor to Charles the Great. It became part of the domain of Gloucester Abbey in the middle of the 8th century, and the earliest mention of the village can be found in the Doomsday Book of 1086. It's a traditional estate village made up of modest cottages and grand houses. The cottages are mostly 17th and 18th century. There's also a number of late 19th century estate cottages built for William Strip Park, the large country house and estate of Sir Michael Hicks Beach at that time. Hicks Beach was for many years the MP for Sirencester and became the Chancellor of the Exchequer. He was the Earl of St Aldwin. Well, as many of you will know from my previous videos, I always like to find a village pub, and this is an absolute beauty. It's the New Inn pub. It's 16th century coaching inn here on the high street with 15 luxurious ensuite bedrooms. The pub was renovated and reopened by local food duo, Baz and Fred, in 2020. Now we'll pop in here later and have a look no doubt have a drink because we always like to visit pubs in these videos. Well, this is basically the centre of the village and here in front of us is the village store, a community shop. It's also a cafe and it's all run by volunteers. It was closed when I went to have a look but apparently it's a really, really nice place to go. So yeah, we're just in the centre of the village now and it's just more and more beautiful cottages. And uh, let's have a little walk down here and see what we can find. Great chestnut tree on the village green there with some benches, absolutely beautiful.
I really like this row of cottages and this um, not sure what the what the greenery is but um, it's all the way across and is there just a hint of autumn on the way when you look at the colours and the uh, green starting to change to brown and red absolutely gorgeous isn't it absolutely fantastic Now these buildings on the left, you'll see in a moment, are known as the Memorial Cottages. The six of them 
and they were built in 1946 by Michael John St Aldwin in memory of his grandmother Lady Lucy using materials from the demolished sewn wing of William Strip Park. Before the cottages were built there was a field and Lady Lucy used to graze her Shetland pony in this field and the pony was that was the the animal that pulled the small carriage that Lady Lucy used to ride in around the village. Now we're approaching the church, you've probably seen it um, just now. As we go through this memorial archway, we come into the churchyard itself. This is the church of St. John the Baptist. And the village church dates from the 12th century, but has been added to over the centuries. The south porch is late Norman, the chancel's lancet windows are 13th century, the tower was completed in the 15th century, and the church was restored in the Victorian era. So let's pop inside and look at this lovely church of St John the Baptist. So that's the end of today's walk around Colton Old Winds and surprise, surprise, we're back at the pub, the new inn. I'm gonna pop in here for a drink and check out the menu. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share a comment, and I'll see you for another video very soon. Thanks for watching. All the best, take care, and I'll see you soon.